read some books. Gorgonzola, a very stinky saurus, by Margie Palatini and Tim Bowers. Once upon an eon, dinosaurs roamed and ruled. Some were mighty, some were fierce, and some were so bad they could scare the socks off of you. But the worst of them all, the very worst of them all, was... Gorgonzola! The thing was, the big boy had no clue that the real reason everyone ran off in such a hurry was not because they were frightened, it was that Gorgonzola smelled so doggone awful. Oh, was he ever ripe. And so it went. The wind would blow and everyone ran for cover. That is, until one day when one brave little birdie, tired of picking up her nest, just had enough. Hey, you big stinker, how about a little consideration? Clean up your act, will ya? Nobody's afraid of you. We can't stand being near you. You're a primo stinko. You've got a major dinosaur odor problem. Am I getting through to you? He, you. Gorgonzola was stunned, shocked. He took a whiff. Wow, he said with a cross-eyed blink. You could petrify a rock with that prehistoric aroma of yours. The bird squawked. Didn't your mother ever tell you about soap, water, or a toothbrush? Yeesh! Gorgonzola gulped. Dinosaur tears rolled down his slimy face and moldy chin. I was an orphaned egg, he cried. I hatched myself and have been on my own ever since. I never had anyone to teach me good hygiene. Okay, stop your bloppering, the bird sighed. She grabbed a couple of leaves and wiped Gargonzola's runny nose. Blow! He snorted and let loose with a slobbering sob. Dinosaur odor, honestly, I never knew. All right, already, get a grip, she said with a comforting pat. So you stink a little. Okay, a lot. But stop with the waterworks. I'm drowning here. The bird began to feel a little guilty, a whole lot wet, and more than just a bit sorry for the stinky saurus. Well, uh, I guess if you want, I can help you clean up. You can? The bird fell backward in a faint. First, we take care of that breath. Bertie handed over a large toothbrush, plenty of toothpaste, and stood back a safe distance. Okay, she called out from a no-smell zone. Go to it! Up and down, back and forth, spit, spit, spit! And don't forget to floss. You've got stuff stuck in there from the Mesozoic era. A swish of mouthwash wouldn't be a bad idea either. Gorgonzola gargled. What do you think? Minty, huh? Not bad, said the bird with a cautious sniff. She tossed him a sponge and a washcloth. It was on to the main event, soap and water. Wow! Wow! Don't just splash! You gotta scrub, boy! Scrub! Get those shoulders into it. Work it, work it, and use some shampoo. You're a tad flaky on top. Ouch. Ooh, I got soap in my eyes. It's stinging, it's stinging. Keep scrubbing, you big baby, said Bird with a sharp whistle. Wash behind those ears and don't forget your neck. You've got about a dozen rings around the collar. The dinosaur scrubbed and scrubbed. Oh, no, you don't. Feet first, ordered the bird. No playing with the bubbles. Get to that toe cheese. And, <clears throat> she whispered, remember the tail, buddy. 
Gorgonzola remembered everything, and most important, everywhere. A little powder here, there, and plenty of lotion for that scaly skin. Why, he felt like a new beast, and acted like one too. I feel like a real humane being, he said, all spiffed and polished. But tell me exactly, how often do I have to do this? Well, every day, of course, Bertie answered. That is, if you want to be civilized and hang around with me and my friends. Gorgonzola grinned. Oh, I do, I do. And so he did. He kept clean and joined his new friends each Tuesday for bingo. Bingo! I win! Thursdays for book club. And Friday was luau night. He was the life of the party and smelled good for it too. Yes, Gorgonzola was delighted and positively proud to be the first dinosaur officially declared extinct. The end. Thanks for watching, friends. Subscribe, thumbs up, support your local readers. I wonder what's up next.